some of the giants. And we were in our own eyes as grasshoppers. If you would for a moment with me, let me use your imagination. Here we are, about to go into the promise of God, so they send men to spy out the land. Their job is to spy out the land. In their spying out, they notice that no one now dwells in the central marketplace. For the Hittites and the Gergetites and all the Tites have now moved to the mountains, some by way of the sea. But no one is in the marketplace. And after 40 days, two men bring and pomegranates. Are you with me? Now, I got a question for you. When ever have you known grapes to grow on a tree? The scripture says that they cut down, which means they had to go up, they cut down a branch bearing a cluster of grapes that was so large and huge that two men had to carry it on a staff. And they brought of the figs and the pomegranates, and that Greek word means originated from. The question is, how did the grapes get in the tree? Stay right there. Because before we start dancing and shouting over the land that is overflowing with milk and honey, we have to invest. land overflows with milk and honey and it's the land that God promised us and we know there is because the same ikes that was in the prophecy are the same ikes that are in the land. We know that we can defeat them because the prophecy said that God was going to send fear. By the time we got to the land, they had already left. the people and that's how the land was when they found it they found the land with more cattle than there were people what does milk and honey mean milk represents every animal that has a milk producing gland cows goats The men had fled the city. The promise of God is there. But there's a problem in the promise. The reason why the people were afraid when they saw the fruit, because they, know, they knew that there was no tree that produced grapes. They also knew figs and pomegranates on the same tree. They also knew that grapes don't grow on trees. How did this happen? How did the grapes get that big? The cattle. When the giants moved pasture, in the morning to lean pasture in the evening in order to regulate their eating. So they ate constantly. They're overeating, they over defecated. Over defecated, 
the soil was over fertilized, thus you have the abnormal fruit. Big don't mean blessed. How did the pomegranates and the figs get intertwined? Because grapes are something else. Grapevine. The grapevine can grow in any direction. Growing, it's picking up stuff while it's growing. You know I'm telling the truth. Picking up all kinds of stuff with it. The grapevine. Growing and picking up stuff. It starts off good. Nice grapes growing. But if no one is there to cultivate it, if no one is there to keep it good, it starts picking up trash in its vine. Salem's and cool cigarettes. Dirty can. Old pamper. A cup that you stole from the Hampton Hotel. A dog bone. And in order to get good fruit, you gotta work through trash. Many ministries are in trouble because the ministry has good fruit, but the people around it is trashy. I don't see nobody turning. Not only were there grapes and pomegranates and figs in a twine in the tree, but there we also saw the giant. And I think the giant made us more afraid than anything else. You know what a giant is. Today we're dealing with the giant of homosexuality. The giant of lesbianism. The giant of same-sex marriage. I can't preach in this church, can I? The giant. And the giant don't even care about you. Because if you read through scriptures, the giants don't fight unless you hire them. You know what the giant does? The giant eats, fornicates, and sleeps. Unfortunately, some of y'all are married to a giant. All he does is eat, fornicate, and sleep. I know I'm getting on your nerves. But it's the truth. If you got a husband that don't work, but he's eating and he ain't working, you got a giant. the fruit because there's so much trash around it. I don't want another sermon. I don't want another good message. I want a revelation that comes from God. And I found out in order to get my stuff, I got to bring order to the promise that God has given unto me.